Coming up on The Uplift, it's a harmony that heals. Hear the concert reminding us that music is more than just entertainment. Then, life gave him lemons and he is making lemonade. Meet the team filling our cups and our hearts and bringing veterans more serenity. How one couple is giving former service members a place to deal with their trauma. Welcome to The Uplift. In our new digital series here, we're going to be sharing some of our favorite stories that we are sure will put a smile on your face. It's our goal to lift you up here for the next 30 minutes and hopefully for a lot longer. I'm Susan Elizabeth Littlefield. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. What better way to help people heal than through music? Water tires are made for Check out this special moment where country music artist Jake Owen puts on a very exclusive concert. The lucky girl singing right beside him is Lily. Lily is a soon to be senior at Blake High School. She is also a graduate from the music therapy program at M Health Fairview Masonic Children's Hospital. In their performance, Owens and Lily used music as medicine. They were at the hospital to perform for patients as part of the 3M Open festivities. The Open gives back with certain charities each year, like the Therapy Music Program, and thanks to its funding from last year, Masonic Children's Hospital got to redo their therapy rooms and got brand new instruments. It's a major investment supporting the power that music has to heal. Yeah, I was made. Hearing car horns blaring is not normally a welcoming sound, but in one Kansas neighborhood, it's something people are beginning to look forward to. This is the man behind all the noise. Meet 69 year old Dennis Pearson. He lost both of his legs after getting deep vein thrombosis that caused lack of circulation. It's been four years now and ever since he has spent his days outside his home, waving to anyone and everyone who drives by. He keeps track of the honks, and so far, he says, he has counted more than a million. And what started as a way to pass the time has blown up to celebrity status. Word got out, and I mean, horns are just honking all afternoon around there. Dennis says all the waving, honking, and friendly faces really just keeps him going. I know it sounds stupid, but you know, I didn't have nothing else going on. I ain't nothing else to do. Take your legs off and you find out how rough it is. And it's not as easy as it looks. Wave and wave back or all Well, I know they care. You know, that's cool. An ice cold glass of lemonade is the perfect treat for a hot summer day. In this summer, one Minnesota teen made the drink even sweeter. WCCO's Adam Dexter introduces us to the man behind the stand. Welcome to the 2022 Joe and Bill's Lemonade Stand. There's a saying, when life gives you lemons. Would you like original or raspberry? Do this. Are you thirsty? And at a lemonade stand near the Richfield, Minneapolis border. Perhaps no one embodies that saying quite like 19 year old Joe Carr. Typical pregnancy, but um, during labor and delivery, he had something called a true knot in his cord and he suffered some um, loss of oxygen. Who's never let cerebral palsy slow him down. It's like anyone that meets Joe from the very first time is an instant friend and just adores Joe. Seven years ago, Joe told his mom, Christy, a paraprofessional helper, Bill, his idea to help kids in the same situation. Gillette Children's has done a lot for me and my family. Gillette gives out adapted bikes. This is the seventh year of our lemonade stand. It was his idea just to you know make a few dollars, and I, I don't think either of us had any idea of what it would become. Last year, it became twelve thousand dollars in total, all for the Gillette Children's Adapted Bike Program. Every pour and every joke. I'm sorry for the large amount of Packers fans. <laughs> Proof you can make a difference regardless of what life hands you. You really are not limited by um, things. And Joe has never let, never let cerebral palsy limit him. Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. 
Fishing is a calming sport and one couple is hoping it can be used to help first responders and veterans who are combating PTSD. Richard and Lindsay Puentes are both veterans. They launched Cast and Hook Fishing last summer. It's a nonprofit they hope will help people like them have a new way to cope. Here's Jennifer Merrily with this story. This is a place where the Puentes can let go of the stress and allow nature to bring peace. Just listening to the sounds, the birds, the water, it's just healing. This is one of my go-to quiet spots. It's especially true for Richard, who deployed twice to Iraq, lost a brother to suicide, and is a St. Paul police officer. Dealing with being away and things of the war, coming home and losing my brother, it was pretty hard on me. Um, it took me about 10 years to get the help I needed, but fishing and being outdoors was kind of my way to cope with the stress. Lindsay served in the Army for eight years and now works as a mental health counselor. Together, they created Cast and Hook Fishing. We help people feel that inner peace, even if it's for a minute, even if it's for an hour. They and other anglers volunteer their time to take first responders and veterans struggling with mental health issues fishing. Yeah, the need has been there. It's just the stigma that comes with it. Retired Army Colonel Doug Stubbe was the first to reach out. He served 38 years with tours in Bosnia and Iraq. Felt like I knew Rick right from the beginning. Felt like I've known him forever. I can see him. They're scooting. <laughs> For Doug, getting out to fish brings a sense of balance into his life. When my inner self seems out of whack, this is the place I know where to go. He says it helps to cast a line with someone who understands it. What do you got? Spinner. So Rick and I can sit here and fish. I don't have to say anything. And the same with him. He can tell from a look, from a maybe the way I'm casting. The experience is as meaningful for Richard. He often opens up and lends an ear. We don't ask the questions, but it's pretty cool that they trust us enough to let us know what they've been through. Whether they're casting for fish or away from the water, they connect. What we call in the service battle buddies, they're basically my battle buddies. I, they're who I can call up and just say, hey, not feeling good today. They've learned it matters. It's exactly why we're doing this, so people don't have to feel so alone in their struggles. On the Willow River, Jennifer Mayerly, WCCO 4 News. When we come back, we are pressing play on a positive future. The new program using cameras to keep kids out of trouble.